Daily Life Adjustments Living with Intention and Purpose Making small daily life adjustments changes life's direction. You have the power to create your ideal lifestyle. Today, start taking empowering steps to create paradise. Remember, making small daily life adjustments changes life's direction. In today's Exploring Personal Growth journey, Let's explore a problem-solving tool called Reframing. Mindset Mastery, the art of reframing perspective for personal growth. Transform your challenges into triumphs and reshape your reality. So let's explore the art of reframing. Reframing is a powerful problem-solving skill that can transform the way we perceive and respond to various situations in life. Reframing is essentially the ability to change the way we look at things, altering our perspective to find a more positive and constructive interpretation. What is reframing and why master it? Reframing involves consciously changing the way you think about a situation, person or event. It's a crucial skill because our perception shapes our reality and by reframing we gain control over how we interpret experiences. Mastering the skill enables us to turn challenges into opportunities, setbacks into lessons and negatives into positives. Reframing is a skill that involves changing how you think about a situation. It can be helpful for problem solving decision-making and learning. Reframing can also help you feel more optimistic and resilient in stressful situations. How reframing can change negative to positive. Reframing works by shifting the focus from what's lacking or negative to what's available or positive. It's about finding alternative explanations, highlighting different aspects or seen the bigger picture. This process can turn a seemingly negative situation into one that offers growth, learning and unexpected advantages. Techniques and steps for reframing. Using awareness. Identify the negative thought or interpretation. Reason. Identifying negative thoughts is the first step because awareness is a precursor to change. Acknowledging negative interpretations allows an individual to consciously engage in the reframing process. How? Practice mindfulness to observe the thoughts without judgment. Notice when a negative thought arises and label them without getting overly attached. Challenge assumptions. Question the worthiness of the initial interpretation. Reason? Assumptions often drive negative interpretations. Questioning their worthiness helps break down the automatic and potentially inaccurate thought pattern. How? Actively question the evidence supporting the negative assumption. Consider alternative explanations and challenge the underlying beliefs. Find alternatives. Explore different perspectives or different positive aspects. Reason? Exploring different perspectives broadens the range of potential interpretations. This step allows individuals to discover positive aspects or alternative ways of viewing a situation. How? Put yourself in other shoes. Consider the situation from different angles and think about how someone with an optimistic mindset might interpret it. Language matters. Choose positive and empowering words. Reason. The words we use can influence our thoughts and emotions. Choosing positive and empowering language contributes to creating a more constructive mindset. How? Replace negative or self-limiting words with positive and affirming ones. For example, replace can't with can or challenge with opportunity. Zoom out. 
consider the broader context and long-term implications. Reason. Putting a situation into a broader context helps individuals see the bigger picture and avoid fixating on immediate challenges. It encourages a more balanced and nuanced understanding. How? Consider how the current situation fits into your overall life or goals. Ask yourself if this issue will still matter in a week, a month or a year. Seek solutions. Instead of dwelling on the problem, focus on potential solutions. Reason? Shifting the focus from the problem to potential solutions promotes a proactive mindset. It encourages individuals to take control and move towards positive outcomes. How? Instead of dwelling on what went wrong, brainstorm actionable steps you can take to address the situation. Focus on what you can influence or change. These techniques and steps collectively guide individuals through a structured process of reframing negative thoughts. By fostering awareness, challenging assumptions, exploring alternatives, using positive language, considering the broader context and seeking solutions, individuals can cultivate a more positive and resilient mindset. This process contributes to personal growth, improved problem solving, and enhanced emotional well-being. What to do and not to do. Do focus on solutions. Look for ways to address the situation positively. Do culture positivity. Train your mind to see the good in every situation. Don't ignore reality. Reframing doesn't mean denying problems, but finding constructive ways to deal with them. And don't rush. Take the time to reflect and choose your perspective wisely. Remember, perspective is powerful. Your perception shapes your reality. It's a skill, like any skill. Reframing improves with practice. It's a choice. You have the power to choose how you interpret situations. So ways of reframing. In personal growth, turn setbacks into opportunities for self-improvement. In relationships, see misunderstandings as a chance for deeper understanding. In work, transform challenges into stepping stones for professional development. So empowering questions to use in reframing. What's another way to look at this situation? Why ask this question? This question prompts individuals to consider alternative perspectives, helping them break out of fixed or negative thinking patterns. It encourages a more open-minded approach to problem solving. What can I learn from this experience? Why ask this question? Focusing on learning shifts the narrative from failure to opportunity. It encourages encourages a growth mindset and helps individuals extract valuable lessons even from challenging situations. How would somebody I admire approach this? Why ask this question? By invoking the perspective of someone admired, individuals are prompted to step outside of their own mindset. This question leverages positive role models to inspire new constructive ways of thinking. What's the silver lining in this cloud? Why ask this question? This question directs attention towards positive aspects or potential benefits in a seemingly negative situation. It fosters optimism and helps individuals find hidden opportunities. What positive actions can I take right now? Why ask this question? Shifting the focus from the problem to actionable steps empowers individuals to take control of the situation. It encourages proactive behavior and prevents a sense of helplessness. In essence, these empowering questions guide individuals through the reframing process by prompting reflection, promoting positive thinking, 
and facilitating a shift from a problem-focused mindset to a solution-oriented one. They encourage a constructive and growth-oriented approach to challenges. So what mindset and attitude to have? Have curiosity. Approach situations with a curious mind. Have optimism. Believe in the potential for positive outcomes. Have resilience. Embrace challenges as an opportunity to grow. So how to get started? Begin your reframing journey by acknowledging the negative thought, questioning its worthiness, and actively seeking a positive alternative. Use empowering language, and remember that reframing is a continuous process, not a one-time fix. In essence, mastering the skill of reframing empowers you to shape your reality and responses in a way that fosters personal growth resilience, and a positive mindset. So tips to enhance your understanding and application of the skill of reframing. Use emotional intelligence. Developing emotional intelligence is key to effective reframing. Understand your emotions and how they influence your perception. This awareness can guide you in choosing constructive reframing perspectives. Use humor and playfulness. Injecting humor into a situation can be a powerful reframing tool. It lightens the mood and helps shift perspective. Playfulness can encourage a creative approach to problem solving. Practice gratitude. Incorporating gratitude into your reframing process can amplify its positive effects. Identify elements of the situation for which you are thankful, even if they seem small. Have flexibility in your thinking. Cultivate a flexible mindset. The ability to adapt your thinking to different situations allows you to reframe more effectively, avoid rigid, all or nothing thinking. Use collaborative reframing. Discuss Challenging situations with others can provide diverse perspectives. Sometimes a friend or a colleague might offer insights that you hadn't considered, contributing to a collective reframing effort. Use mindfulness and present moment awareness. Practicing mindfulness can help you stay present and avoid getting up in negative thoughts about the past or future. In the present moment, you have the power to choose how you perceive and respond to a situation. Use experimentation. Treat reframing as an experiment. Try different perspectives to see what works best for you in a given situation. Not every reframing attempt will feel uh, natural initially, but with practice it becomes more intuitive. Use self-compassion. Be kind to yourself during the reframing process. Acknowledge that changing perspectives takes time and effort. Treat yourself with the same compassion you would offer a friend facing a challenge. Use journaling. Keep a reframing journal. Document situations where you successfully reframed, noting the positive outcomes. This serves as a reminder of your progress and reinforces the habit. Use continuous learning. Stay open to learning. Every experience, whether positive or negative, offers an opportunity to refine your reframing skills. Embrace the journey of continuous improvement. Remember, reframing is not about denying reality but about choosing a perspective that empowers you to navigate challenges with resilience and optimism. As you integrate these additional insights, you'll find that the skill of reframing becomes a valuable tool in your personal and professional toolkit. So reframing in different situations. Situation in a job loss. Initial perspective. I've lost my job and it's a disaster and I'll never find another one. 
reframing perspective? Well, losing my job is challenging. It opens up new opportunities for me to explore different career paths and grow professionally. This could be a push I needed to pursue a more fulfilling role. Situation in a traffic jam. Initial perspective. I'm stuck in traffic again. This is so frustrating. I'm wasting my time. Reframing perspective. The traffic gives me some unexpected time to listen to that podcast I've been meaning to catch up on. It's a chance to relax and learn something new. Spend your time wisely. Situation in a health setback. Initial perspective. My health issues is preventing me from doing what I love. It's terrible. Reframing perspective. While my health is challenging right now, it's an opportunity to focus on self-care and explore new activities that align with my current abilities. This could be a turning point for a healthier lifestyle. In an unsuccessful project. Initial perspective. The project failed and it's a reflection of my incompetence. Reframing perspective. The project did Project didn't go as planned, but it's a valuable learning experience. I now have insight into what can be improved for future projects. Failure is a stepping stone to success. Situation, raining on a special event day. Initial perspective, the rain ruined our outdoor event. This is so disappointing. Reframing perspective, well, the weather didn't cooperate. We can adopt our plans and still create a memorable indoor experience. It's a chance to showcase our flexibility and creativity. Situation in a conflict with a friend. Initial perspective. The argument with my friend is the end of our relationship. Reframing perspective. Conflict is a natural part of any relationship. This disagreement is an opportunity for us to understand each other better and strengthen our friendship by working through the challenges together. Situation and a tight deadline at work. Initial perspective. The deadline is impossible. I'll never get anything done. Reframing perspective. The tight deadline is a chance for me to showcase my efficiency and time management skills. I can prioritize tasks, seek help if needed, and prove that I thrive under pressure. Situation, reframing for a breakup in a romantic relationship. This is undoubtedly a challenging and emotionally charged situation. Reframing can be a powerful tool to navigate this difficult time and foster personal growth. In an initial perspective, the negative thought. This breakup is a complete failure. I'll never find love again and my life is ruined. Reframe thought. Well, the end of this relationship is painful. It's also an opportunity for personal growth and self-discovery. I can learn from this experience, understand myself better and use the lessons to build a healthier relationships in the future. So techniques and steps to use. Acknowledge emotions. Allow yourself to feel the emotions associated with a breakup. It's essential to acknowledge and process your feelings rather than suppressing them. Challenging negative beliefs. Identify and challenge negative beliefs about yourself or your future. Ask yourself if these beliefs are rational and constructive. Find the silver lining. Look for positive aspects or potential opportunities for growth. This could involve pursuing personal interests, strengthening friendships, or focusing on self-improvement. Shift focus from blame to understanding. Instead of blaming yourself or your ex-partner, try to understand the reasons behind the breakup. This understanding can contribute to closure and personal insights. Uh, set new goals. 
establish personal goals for the future that align with your individual aspirations. This can help shift your focus from the past to a more hopeful future. So what to remember? Healing takes time. Give yourself the time and space to heal. Reframing is a process and it's okay not to have all the answers immediately. Seek support. Reach out to friends, family or a coach for support. Talking about your feelings can be a crucial part of the healing process. Focus on self-care. Take care of your physical and mental well-being. Engage in activities that bring you joy, relaxation and a sense of accomplishment. So, reframing for a breakup in a relationship, you can use three empowering questions to ask yourself. 1. What can I learn from this relationship and breakup? Why ask this question? This question helps shift focus from the emotional pain of the breakup to potential insights and lessons. It encourages self-reflection, aiding emotional healing and personal growth. Question 2. What values and qualities do I want in future relationships? Why ask this question? This question prompts individuals to reassess their relationship expectations, providing clarity for future choices. It helps set a positive direction for your future connections, contributing to healthier and more fulfilling relationships. Question 3. How can I use this experience to become a stronger, more resilient person? Why ask this question? By reframing the breakup as an opportunity for personal growth, this question encourages individuals to develop resilience and strength. It fosters a proactive mindset, helping navigate future challenges with greater adaptability and inner strength. Provide yourself a constructive framework for self-reflection. These questions provide a structured framework for reflection. Instead of getting stuck in negative emotions, individuals are guided to channel their thoughts towards positive outcomes and personal development. This framework helps in making meaning out of the breakup experience. Your mindset and attitude. Self-compassion. Be kind to yourself during this challenging time. Breakups are part of life and they don't define your worth. Mindset and attitude. Growth mindset. Embrace the mindset that challenges leads to growth. View the breakup as an opportunity for personal development. Remember, reframing doesn't diminish the pain for a breakup, but it can help you view the situation from a perspective that encourages healing, self-discovery and a positive outlook on the future. In each example, reframing involves consciously choosing a more positive or constructive perspective to transform the way the situation is perceived. This shift in mindset can lead to increased resilience, creativity and overall well-being. So a quick recap. recap. The transformative skill of reframing is crucial to recognize its impact on shaping our reality and responses to life challenges. Reframing is not about denying difficulties, but about choosing empowering perspectives that create resilience, personal growth and a positive mindset. By consciously shifting our viewpoint, we turn obstacles into opportunities and setbacks into stepping stones for progress. In our journey through the art of reframing, we've uncovered its application in various life situations, from professional setbacks to personal relationships. The ability to reframe not only enhances problem-solving skills, but also contributes to emotional well-being, creates a mindset of continuous learning and adaptability. Our way forward. Now, as I leave you with an empowering message, as you embark on your journey of mastering the skill of reframing, 
Remember that life is a canvas and your perspective is the brush. In every situation, you hold the power to choose how you interpret, respond and ultimately shape your narrative. Embrace challenges as invitations for growth, setbacks as opportunities for resilience and uncertainties as the canvas for your unique masterpiece. The moral of your reframing story is this. In the art of life, your perspective is your greatest masterpiece, painted with the vibrant colors of resilience, optimism and continuous self-discovery. The canvas may have its shadows, but it's in those contrasts that the true beauty of your journey emerges. Embrace the power of reframing and let it be your guiding light towards a more empowered and fulfilling life. Now, start your day with a positive, empowering reframe. And what to do next? If you have learned from this Explore Personal Growth Journey reframe tool and would like to learn more personal growth tools, then click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon and share with your friends. Then you will get a notified when the next useful tool is uploaded. Create a win-win situation for all of us. Or you can also find more at www.dailylifeadjustments.substack.com When you subscribe at Substack, you will get every new post directly in your email so you don't have to miss anything, any more personal growth content. And if you'd like to speed up your learning process with very affordable personal development and entrepreneurial online content, which includes courses, audios, ebooks, videos, strategies, uh, lots of downloads, master action plans, workbooks, journals, trackers, even a bunch of motivational cards you can download, uh, coloring pictures, and a lot, lot more. And this will help you with self expansion, skills development, and success strategies. Themes, uh, life purpose, goal setting, mindset, mind power mastery, know yourself, and so, so, so much more. So come to www.lifechangingknowledge.com. Links can be found on the description. So going from where you are now to where you want to be. Making small daily life adjustments changes life's direction. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Empower yourself. Subscribe for more of daily life adjustments content. Thank you. Thank you.